I got and we're back. Here's your host. Belief. For millions of years, many people have not noticed the importance of having leaves in their backyards. Here to tell us is Mr. Bernard Swizzlebuck. Hello, Bernard Swizzlebuck. Thank you for having me. Now, tell us, when, what, approximately, what year do you think the leaves came down to earth? Well, it happens every year in the fall, really, but I see what you're saying. Well, no one really knows, because they're older than we are. Really, now, approximately how old? Well, very old. Very old. Now, what are some of the uses of the leaf? Well, the leaf has many common uses around the house, but the most profound would be their uses on the battlefield in medieval times. Oh, really? Like, name us some historical events which included the leaf in the war. Well, the Roman Empire used them quite frequently, but that's a bit later than what we are talking about. Mostly they were used in very primitive times, even before the medieval days, when there were clashes of very primitive armies without the use of steel or even pine cones for that matter. So they would use two main types of leaves. Here we have the standard common green leaf, which is used primarily for launching at one's opponents. You see, it looks a bit like a ninja star. We've got these very, ow, sharp little pointies. So it's tricky to get them to fly right. I'm not trained, but presumably you could launch and impale an opponent. Interesting. The now, other type of leaf, which I forgot to mention, this is the bright leaf. They come in a variety of colors, but mostly they were using for used for blinding opponents on the battlefield because they're so bright, which would make them more vulnerable to attacks from common green ninja star leaves. Now, if you were to eat a leaf, what are some of the side effects that you would get after eating? Well, at first glance, they're much like other plants and they wouldn't cause you any real harm. So if further I... studies indicate that possibly these could increase thoughts of suicide in teenagers and young adults, cause increased blood pressure, and sometimes even heart attack or stroke. So if I were to eat a leaf right now, I would become a suicidal maniac. There's a chance. I see. Okay, well I think that will do it for today's show. Now, now our announcer Jeremy will tell us what we're going to see for next week's show. Huh. And next week on the Squirrel Factor, we will be discussing air. It's all around us, but did you know it had a use on the medieval battlefield? Tune in next week to find out.